let's do this thing once from the top. Library! Excerpted from a poem by Albert Goldbarth. This book saved my life. This book takes place on one of the two small tagalong moons of Mars. This book requests its author's absolution centuries after his death. This book required two of the Sultan's largest royal elephants to bear it. This book fit in a gourd. This book reveals the secret name of God, and so its author is on a death list. This is a book that is an audio cassette. This other book is a screen and a microchip. This other book, The Sky. In chapter three of this book, a woman tries explaining her husband's tragically humiliating death to their daughter. Reading it is like walking through a wall of setting cement. This book taught me everything about sex. This book is plagiarized. This book is transparent. This book is a codex in Aztec. This book written by a prisoner in dung. The wind is turning the leaves of this book, a hilltop olive as thick as a Russian novel. This book is a vivisected frog and over its text. This book taught me everything wrong about sex. This book is by a poet who makes me sick. This is the first book in the world. This book smells like salami. This book is continued in volume two. He was driving, evidently by some elusive interior radar, since he was busy reading a book propped on a steering wheel. This book picks on men. This book poured its bile into my childhood. This book defames women. This book was smuggled into the country one page at a time. In tiny pill containers. In hat bands. In the cracks of acid. Sixty people risked their lives repeatedly over this one book. This book is nuts. This book costs more than a seven-story chalet in the Tall Oak subdivision. This book... I don't remember. This book is a hoax and a damnable lie. This book gave me a hard on. This book is somewhere under those other books, way over there. This book deflected a bullet. This book provided a vow I took. The chemical formulae for photosynthesis, this book taught me that. And this book taught me what a merkin is. This book is in a computer now. This book is made of knotted string. And this of stone. And this the gut of a sheep. This book existed in a dream of mine and only there. This book is an intercom for God. This book I slammed against the wall. My niece wrote this book in crayon and glitter. Shit! Shit. I forgot to send in a card, and now the book club has billed me twice for synopses of 400 little known operas. This book, 1,000 Wild Nights, is actually wired to give an electric... Yes! This book has a book plate reminding me, in Latin, to use my scant time well. This book caused a howl, a stir, a ruckus, an uproar. This book became a movie. They quickly raised the cover price. This book is the key to the mysteries. This book came apart in my hands. This book is austere. It's like holding a block of dry ice. This book was signed by the author 15 minutes before she died. This, this is the cookbook used by Madame Curie. It still faintly glows seven decades later. This book is the shame of an entire nation. Yes, he was supposed to be on the 705 to Amsterdam, but he stayed at home to finish this whodunit, and so he didn't crash. This book has a brown corsage pressed in it. I picked up both for a dime at the Goodwill. This is the copy of the Iliad that Alexander the Great took with him always on his expeditions. In, Thoreau said, a precious casket. This book I actually licked. This book is said to have floated off the altar of the church, across the village square, and into the hut of a peasant woman in an painful labor. This book hangs by a string in an outhouse and every day it gets thinner. If you don't return that book I loaned you, I'm going to smash your face. This book says the famously saintly woman was really a ringtailed trash mouth, dirty down bitch queen. Everyone's reading it. There are stains in this book that carry a narrative greater than its text. My parents found this book in my bottom drawer and spanked the living hell into my butt. This book of yours, you tell me, was optioned by Hollywood for 85 and possibly a jillion dollars? Oh, congratulations. They lowered the esteemed and highly published professor 
into his grave. A lot of silent weeping. A lot of elegiac rhetoric. And one man shaking his head in the chill December wind dumbfoundedly, who said, and he perished anyway. Although, my eighth grade teacher, Mrs. Hurd, always said, whenever you open a book, remember, that author lives again. After this book, there was no turning back. This book, from when I was five, is Fuzzy Dumplings. And my mother's voice in the living room of the second story apartment over the butcher shop on Division Street. I'm 50 now. I've sought out, and I own now, one near mint and two loose yellowing copies that mean to me as much as the decorated gold masks and the torsos of marble meant to the excavators of Troy. This book is done. This book gave me a paper cut. This book set its mouth on my heart and sucked a model tangle of blood to the surface. I open this book. And smoke pours out. I open this book. And a bad sleet slices my face. I open this book. Brass knuckles. I open this book. The spiky scent of curry. I open this book. And hands grab forcefully onto my hair as if in violent sex. I open this book. The wing beat of a seraph. I open this book. And the edgy cat pain wailing of the dam thrusts up in a column as sturdy around as a giant redwood. I open this book. The travel of light. I open this book. And it's as damp as a wound. I open this book and I fall inside it farther than any physics. Stickier than the jelly we scrape from cracked bones. Cleaner than what we tell our children in the dark when they're afraid to close their eyes at night. And this book can't be written yet. Its author isn't born yet. This book is going to save the world.